Hello students, Ms. Swanson here, and welcome to our first episode on how to write high school lab reports. Our first episode is going to be on how to write the title page. Seems like something pretty simple, but we do need to discuss a few things. So to begin with, we can't just learn how to write the title if we don't know something about variables. So there are a few different types of variables. The first one is called an independent variable. And this is the one that the scientist changes, or the one that you will be changing. And sometimes it's known as the cause. So for example, if we had a bunch of flowers that we are working with, and we gave one a certain amount of water, the next one twice that amount, and the third one three times that amount, then the thing that we are changing is the amount of water that we give the flower. The next type of variable is called the dependent variable, and this is the thing that the scientist is measuring, um, or sometimes it's called the effect. So in this case, let's say we were measuring how tall those flowers grew, depending on how much water we gave them, then the dependent variable would be the height of growth of that flower. And then the last type is called a confounding variable or an interfering variable. And this is something that would also, ha uh, would also affect that growth of that plant, but isn't actually what we're looking for, isn't what we're changing. So in this case, maybe uh, there's some sun there and it's closer to one plant than the others. So not only is that one plant getting a certain amount of water, but it's also getting a certain amount of light. And that's different than the amount of light and amount of water of the other plants. So at the end of our experiment, we couldn't say, well, it was the water that had the effect or the sun that had the effect because we don't know which one made that effect. So knowing those types of variables, this is how we would write a proper title. First of all, it needs to be descriptive, and it needs to include in it the independent variable and the dependent variable. So I'll show you an example here, a format that you could use. The effect of, and then you write the independent variable, on, and then you write the dependent variable. Now this won't work in every single case, but this is just an example format. So you might say, the effect of the amount of water given to a flower on the height of that flower. So that would be an example for that lab I just showed you. Another way of saying this, not using that same format, but maybe something you're more comfortable with, how the amount of water given to a flower affects the height of the flower. So that would give the same amount of information, just written in a slightly different way. So those are the things that you need to look for when you write your title. What else needs to go on that page? Well, you should have your name, obviously, so I know who it belongs to. Your partner's name, so I know who you worked with and make sure that you have only your observations should be the same, but everything else should be different between the partners. Um, your teacher's name and the course code in case it gets lost to make sure that it gets back to me. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.